Welcome to Classic Game Room where I'm enjoying some H2 Overdrive, the spiritual successor to Hydro Thunder. For those who like their vehicular combat racing games wet and splashtastic, it's H2 Overdrive. It's a play on words, get it? Damn, that's fun. I'm gonna take this machine home with me. I think they noticed. Sea Devil. From the same team that brought you Hydro Thunder, H2 Overdrive is published by the awesome Raw Thrills and has the funky keypad system so you can have your own unique code to save your game on the machine because you'll be upgrading your boats as you destroy your opponents in this awesome racing game which is a must play for any Hydro Thunder fan. Like the Dirty Driving Machine I just reviewed, it's a cockpit style arcade game that surrounds you in sound and has a force feedback steering wheel as well as a massive HD monitor in your face. The gameplay is like Hydro Thunder, but even crazier as you pick up boost and then destroy your enemies for some additional boost, while also smashing crates filled with mines and finding hidden passages along the way. If you like Hydro Thunder, this one is a no-brainer. Find an H2 Overdrive machine and play it. You'll love it. It's fast, it's ferocious, it's smooth, it looks good, it sounds good, and it has the ship upgrade system, which gives H2 Overdrive tons of replay value, as you'll want to upgrade your ship and make it as fast as possible. It's a harder game than you might think, especially if you'd like to get first or second place in races or set lap records against other competent drivers. The more you play and the more you win earns experience, which is applied to the boat that you're using. Up. Which becomes faster, stronger, more powerful, and generally more awesome. In fact, I think I can safely say that H2 Overdrive is totally Lando. The track designs range from wide open to confined and challenging like this one. There's no brake pedal in H2 Overdrive. You'll want to slow down by crushing your enemies. In fact, actually that makes you go faster. Never mind, strike that comment. You don't want to slow down. You're crazy! London Underground! When you get down to it scientifically, it's the realism that makes H2 Overdrive great. Experts only. Like Hydro Thunder, there's a wide variety of boats ranging from easy and controllable to hard uh, with a bit of understeer. Here's a close-up look at the arcade cabinet itself with the cool steering wheel, keypad, boost controller and gauges it's bright and blue but pretty understated compared to Rothrill's dirty driving machine. Here's a close-up look at the back of the machine with the subwoofer in the seat that makes it vibrate during gameplay. It's a comfortable arcade game that has an adjustable seat and feels a lot like the dirty driving arcade game I just reviewed which is no surprise it's also from Specular Interactive and Rothrill's. As a Hydro Thunder fan, this is simply a dream come true. But I'll ask the obvious question. When is it coming out on the Dreamcast? Anyone? Anyone? Well, until then, you can find it at your local arcade. And if they don't have it, start an arcade and put one of these in. In fact, I think you can link a bunch of them together. And then uh, put a silent scope machine in, because that one's really cool, too. This is part of my triple pack of Rothrill's arcade game reviews in July 2012. Don't forget to watch Dirty Driving and Big Buck HD 
A big thanks to Betson Pittsburgh, the distribution company, for letting me film in their showroom, and thank you to Raw Thrills for putting out some awesome games. When can we expect Robotron 2085 with three joysticks requiring the growth or installation of an additional arm? Now that's gameplay of the future. H2 Overdrive, and I for one am eagerly anticipating the sequel, NACL Overdrive. Salty.